So this morning, we want to help parents who have kids who may be struggling to read. You may think that your child needs tutoring or reading instruction, but there may actually be something else that's going on that's causing your child to struggle. So research suggests that some 88% of struggling readers actually have a problem related to speech. Tara Hands and Janine Burkhardt are with Coastal Pediatric Therapy Center and join us this morning. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it Good morning. so We're much. Excited to be here. I've heard such wonderful things about both of you. And of course, I've known, uh, well, I've, I've known about this fantastic center that we have in our area, now a second one opening for many years. And it's amazing how many children that have been helped as a result. So Tara, would you explain how speech and language development impact reading skills? Because I don't know that people would necessarily put that together in yeah, one sentence. Absolutely. So first in reading, you need to have strong foundational skills in um, phonological awareness, which is like the big umbrella term. Um, it includes rhyming, syllableness, um, phonemic awareness, which is just the awareness of sounds. And when those kids are learning to do those sounds, they have to be able to say the sounds. So if they have a speech disorder, they may not be able to rhyme a word if they're not able to say that sound. Um, so that impacts when they're decoding, you know, sounding out words. Um, it also impacts like language. So they're, you know, not understanding the vocabulary. So it, it all kind of just goes together. Well, I think that we also remember when we read now, it comes naturally to us, but new readers, they are literally sounding it out, out in their out loud, yes. right? And if they don't have that kind of ability to do that and make that happen. Make the sound, yeah. yeah. then you can see how a parent or or even a, a teacher would think that they're yeah. struggling to actually read the word when that's not really what's when happening. When really they have a speech sound disorder or a language issue. So yeah. is there anything that parents can do to kind of improve those skills for their kids as they're kind of getting ready for kindergarten? Absolutely, yes. From day one, just read to your child. Read to your child, sing to your child, do the nursery rhymes, twinkle, twinkle, you know, the whole thing. Um, and then also just include some of those phonological awareness activities, you know, like clapping out syllables, talking about the sounds you hear in words, um, drawing awareness, um, I think really will help them and prepare them for reading. So what's an example of clapping out syllables? So let's say you're um, getting ready in the morning, you're brushing your teeth and you have a toothbrush and you go toothbrush. You have right. two syllables there. Um, so you're just bringing awareness to the syllables in everyday words and everyday activities. So they're not learning how to kind of, they're not slurring it together. Yeah. Right, and making, Or omitting, yeah. you know, maybe they're just saying, you know, brush. You know, we want to be toothbrush. So are there warning signs then? That, that parents can can kind of look for that maybe is, maybe I need to talk to the pediatrician and then get a referral then? Yeah, I mean, if you're not understanding your child, if it's hard, if, you know, or unfamiliar people can't understand your child, I would definitely recommend a speech evaluation just to get that checked yeah, out. Yeah, I think that there is a tendency, because I had a relative that that struggled with this and was helped, in fact, by Ghostal. Yeah. And there's a tendency, oh, they'll get better. It gets better. It's just, no, I can understand them. And you just need to kind of have that conversation. We like the whole wait, or we don't like the whole wait and see. We like the do and see, um, just because there's no adverse effects to doing and seeing what happens, but there could be if you wait. Yeah, yeah, and, th and that delay can be really just yeah. detrimental to a child. Janine, let me bring you into the conversation. Tell us about Coastal P uh, Pediatric Therapy and what kind of services are offered, because yeah. this is just one of many. Yeah, yeah, so we are a pediatric therapy center, so we offer occupational, speech, and physical therapy, and being a multidisciplinary team is such an important part of who Coastal is, because we're all under one roof, so it's really cool that we can provide that comprehensive care to our families and really treat that entire patient. Can you explain what occupational therapy is because that's your expertise? Yeah, yeah, sure. I love this question because um, I know there's people who are out there that still think that we help people find jobs. Oh, <laughs> um, right. I but, could see that, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but occupation is an activity. So we, as occupational therapists, help children um, improve their performance in daily activities. So anything that occupies your day so think about all the things that you did to get ready for work this morning so in any way that the child is maybe having difficulties yeah. with that we we help assist them so then what's the difference between that and physical therapy sure so physical therapy works on more of gross motor skills so how a child moves and then we work more on their participation in that specific activity so physical therapists work with a child on like walking running we work more, well, we work on a lot of skills, but kind of fine motor, so, you know, how they're maybe manipulating objects, how they're, you know, opening up containers to visual motor skills, so how they're writing their name, their handwriting skills. We also work on self-regulation, so how
how they are regulating their emotions day to day. Yeah, social skills, um, yeah, a lot. And, and very quickly, insurance, do, does Coastal take insurance? Yes, we for, accept yeah, okay. most all insurances. Okay, which is, which is great. So if you get that referral then, know that, that uh, with insurance and of course you can get these services that are covered yes, for you. Yes. Thank you, uh, Janine and Tara, for being here. We appreciate it. And I want to tell our viewers also, if you'd like to learn more about the speech and learning services that are offered by Coastal Pediatric Therapy, you can call 904, it's 372 4070 or search coastaltherapy.net. They have a location in Jacksonville Beach and a new location that's just opened in Mandarin.